Hey, so this cake that you made looks like it's badly made. I don't know what happened to it. Maybe something happened during shipping. I'm not trying to bash you, but like, can I get a refund or something? Cause I paid $83 for this and this is definitely not what I paid for. A refund? <laughs> you wish you dumb bitch. What you're gonna get is a TikTok video. Hey everybody, so a customer ordered this beautiful, amazing cake that's usually worth $500 and I only sell them for $83 because I'm cheap like that. She didn't like it? Like what a fucking skank. I can't stand these poor people who complain about a cake that only costs $83. <laughs> oh my god, poor people need to get the fuck out of here. So that's basically the whole story of Cake Gate. A baker called Kylie Ellen baked a cake that cost $83. The customer didn't like it. She asked for a refund. She didn't give her a refund, but what she did do was a TikTok video bashing the customer. Today I had one of the worst client experiences I've ever had since opening the storefront. This customer reached out to us via our Facebook page and wanted to order one of our six layer signature rainbow cakes. I started doing these even as a home baker, so I've been making them for a really long time. And we have a signature style to them. They always come with the six rainbow layers and then the vanilla buttercream and then covered with rainbow sprinkles. How is that a signature style? Just because it's a rainbow cake? Since when did that become a signature thing? Have you ever been to like Walmart maybe? Because they sell those rainbow cakes for $10. She went with an 8 inch cake that serves 18 guests and that is $75.99. The one in the video is actually a 6 inch and they are $65.99. Upon arrival, she seemed to be really surprised that the cake was covered in sprinkles. We explained to her that all of our signature rainbow cakes are decorated this way and covered in sprinkles. And if you want to sing, we just add it to the top of the cake with a layer of vanilla buttercream. I don't have my hopes up for this cake right now. It looks like a leftover cake that someone threw in a trash can and you found it. And you're like, oh, someone threw out their cake. Little did they know that cake was $83. With a layer of vanilla buttercream and black buttercream for writing. She then got super defensive and Wait, very what rude is... about oh the my price God. of the cake. Wait, why was she with her hand? Very rude about the price of the cake. I don't care if you sanitize your hands with bleach. Why was she touching the sprinkles in the cake? Why not just use one of your spreaders or like use gloves? If you're gonna use your hands, use gloves at least. With your hands, you're just over here spreading it. How do we know that you didn't scratch your coochie or you didn't scratch your ass? Because honestly, I scratch my ass a lot of times and I wouldn't even notice that I'm making a cake. So if I was the baker, thank God I'm not the baker. If I was making your cake here, I'd probably be like, oh yeah, okay. Uh, okay. And uh, okay, so I have to do this, spreading the sprinkles. Like that cake would be contaminated. I do not trust anyone who uses their hands to spread sprinkles. Like it's fucking sprinkles. Use gloves. Although this is exactly how we decorate all of our rainbow cakes. That's she it. even bashed us and put us on her Facebook page. Also a reminder that we don't individually place each sprinkle onto the cake. So they may look slightly different in pictures. You saw this cake for $83. This is like $10 max at Walmart. You should be in a bakery jail or some shit. Someone handcuffed this girl. Even if you're saying, okay, so that's not the cake that she sold to her. The cake that she sold to her was probably looking a lot better. The customer that was getting bashed by her posted the actual picture of the cake. The only difference is a uh, happy birthday Trill Trillby? Trillby? Is that an actual name? Trillby? If I'm paying $83 for a cake, that shit better be paying my taxes. And the writing part here needs to be in gold. Pure gold, maybe even diamond. It's the exact same cake, but with writing on it. $83 fucking dollars. I thought it was gonna be a lot bigger though. You know how you get those big cakes like maybe that would justify it if it was a lot bigger But this looks pretty average like it's not big at all That's what she said so she fixed the cake herself. Oh my god imagine spending $83 just to end up fixing the cake yourself which it looks a lot better. It still doesn't justify $83. An amateur that's not a baker did a better job than a professional baker. I was looking through all the cakes that she's done and I was like, okay, maybe this was just a bad cake. She was having a bad day. So the cake ended up looking like an ugly child that no one wants to adopt. But no, most of the cakes do look like a five-year-old made them. Let me show you some examples. Last week, I had a client order a cake pretty last minute. I don't often fit in last minute orders, but okay. this is a repeat client and I really enjoy making cakes for her. She always has really, really cute ideas. 
Her sister-in-law loves smiley faces, so that's what she wanted to incorporate on the cake, and we chose a just colorful design. I freehanded this entire cake, so it wasn't perfect, but it really was super cute. I actually love the end result. I call it smiley face aesthetic. Let me know how I did in the comments. Girl, did you even try with this one? What is this? Look at all, oh my God. Look at all the gaps here. I call it depression face cake because once you find out this cake's $100, <laughs> you're going to be depressed. And if you're not depressed, don't worry because that wallet will be. So don't forget, come to Kylie's Bakery if you're not feeling depressed enough. Kylie's Bakery Depression Enhancer. Since you guys just love to talk about me and uh, make viral videos about me, honestly, it's, it's very funny to me. I'm not... I'm not offended by your guys' comments because honestly, um, I mean, look at some of you. It's, it's pointless, your time and effort. A viral video going around about um, how I use other people's work, and that's not true. I host cake decorating classes in my hometown, and I've done this for years. And I use inspiration photos as to what we will be creating. I have worked extremely hard to get where I am, and just the fact that you guys that have nothing going on with your life and yourself have so much to say about a situation that you don't know the full backstory on. I would, you know, just keep my mouth shut because it's not doing anything. <laughs> Since you guys love uh, making videos about me, I think they're very funny. Ha, ha, ha. I am not offended at all. I did turn off the comments because I don't like reading. Honestly, look at some of you though. It's pointless to argue with anyone because look at yourself. Some are missing a tooth. Some of you still go to Burger King. Oh my God, I could never. I personally eat at Chipotle. And if you're asking what's wrong with my right eyebrow, well, the reason why there's a difference is because my right eyebrow is in caps right now and the left one isn't. That's why they look different. And some of you guys are also saying that I copy other people's work. Have you ever looked up inspiration? I mean, yes, I do copy their work, but it's not the exact same thing because mine looks shittier. It's funny because some of you guys have nothing going on with your lives. Y'all are useless, but look at me. I'm a baker. I bake shit, bitch. When was the last time you baked something? That's exactly what I thought. I baked my ass off for the last three years. My ass is literally baked. But yeah, as I was saying, just <laughs> keep your mouth shut. Peasants. Oh my god, poor people. They don't know I'm a baker. Well, here we go again. Every time I think I've seen it all, she produces more. Oh no, not the foil again. What is... At least she's not smushing them on. What is that? These all have like a little growth on the side. Oh, stop. This is a pink pipto nightmare. What is it? What is that pink piping? This one right here got my attention because you see all these brown sticks over here? I'm like... Why do they look so familiar? And then I looked at my cat's litter box. And I'm like, oh, that's my cat's poop sticks. <laughs> she does that all the time. <laughs> she sucks at writing things. Welcome, K, K, you, K, K, Louis. You're gonna pay $73 and this bitch can't even spell your name. So if you thought these cakes were all freshly made because that's why they're over $70, everything was made from scratch. Uh, no, she was caught using boxed cake mix. Here's a rundown of the last. I'm not even a baker, but I know damn well professional bakers don't be using cake mix. That's for me, because I can't cook for shit. I need a cake mix, not a professional baker who's gonna charge you $83. This client ordered a Wednesday cake. You've probably seen this in a round cake before. So we just turned that design into a chic. What the fuck is this monstrosity? What happened here? This girl must be gay because the line here is not straight at all. And did she accidentally mix the black with the pink? Somehow that happens with a professional baker. But where did the green come from or the blue? <laughs> what is the blue doing there? If this was supposed to be a pink and black cake <laughs> what is the green doing there i'm not sure who the original design of this cake was but shout out to them girl stop the cap you know exactly who made the cake goes down and the moon comes up. wait this was the ori this was the original one <gasps> look at how pretty this looks okay and then and then uh. as you can see <laughs> 
This is not even. Look at how big this half is compared to this half. Why is the black part here on the other side? I didn't like the black under the Wednesday side, so I changed it to white for the stained glass window. Oh, really? So you didn't just copy him? I loved it and the client loved it, so that's all that mattered. Now that's what a professional cake looks like. It's not perfect, but I loved it and the client loved it, so that's all that mattered. They liked it? Was your client blind? They like this? I feel like I could have designed these with my balls, you know? Give my balls some icing. I swear, I could do this shit, I'm not even kidding. I could put the icing between my balls and I could mix that shit. Me and my family are in Myrtle Beach for spring break. We both have jobs that require us to be busy all summer long, so spring is the only time that we get to take a vacation all year. Oh my god, Kylie, I'm so sorry to hear that, but uh, good news, your whole summer just cleared up because no one's ordering anything anymore. You know, what if she actually did this on purpose because her husband was forcing her to work so she was like, what if I start a business and purposely cancel myself so no one would buy anything from my business so my summer would open up so I would have more summertime for myself. Damn, that's some smart shit. So that was Cakegate, the biggest drama that's happening on TikTok right now about cakes. I've been on YouTube for a while and I've, seen, and I've seen a lot of shit, I've seen a lot of drama, but never in my life did I think that I would talk about cake drama on TikTok. <laughs> Paying 70, 80 and over a hundred dollars for cakes is insane unless you're filthy rich. But if you're not filthy rich, you know what costs zero dollars? Subscribing to this channel! The good thing is that you don't have to leave a review, but if you do decide to leave a bad review on this channel, I'm not like her, I'm not gonna make any TikTok videos against you. What I will do is a beat your ass up. Next up, cookie drama. TikToker charges $50 for two cookies. 